Orlando, Florida it all comes down to weather Monday evening. The rare great conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn is set to take center stage in our night. The last time the two planets have been visibly this close in our night sky was about 800 years ago. Trending, Christmas forecast, back-to-back -back cold fronts coming, Florida rolls out daily vaccine report, US prepares to ship second vaccine, Jupiter and Saturn will appear extremely close December 21, 2020. Because the planets will be so close together near Christmas, it's being dubbed the Christmas star, by some. The two gas giants will be separated by only 0.1 degree. To the naked eye, it will likely appear as two distinguishable separate points, rather than one star, but it does depend on one's eyesight and atmospheric conditions. How to see, when, December 21, 2020 where, southwest sky about 30 minutes after sunset notes, the planets will gradually get lower in the sky as the evening progresses, so the earlier, the better. You do not need a telescope or binoculars to see but they will enhance the viewing experience. The Seminole State College Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust Planetarium is hosting a Great Jupiter-Saturn Conjunction Virtual Star Party. It's a free event for all. More information is available at seminolestate.edu slash planet. If you have a telescope, the two planets will show up in the same field of view. Great conjunction through a telescope also in that field of view will reside the biggest moons of the two bodies. A telescope or binoculars will be needed to see the moons. After a cloudy start and rain for some of Monday morning, skies will gradually clear through Monday afternoon. By evening, skies will be mostly clear. There will be just a few passing clouds Monday evening. Only 20% of the sky will have clouds. Clouds will increase again late Monday evening but that will be after Jupiter and Saturn sink below the horizon. The Great Conjunction happens every 20 years when Jupiter and Saturn get very close to each other from our perspective. Not every Great Conjunction, however, is created equal and that's what makes the one occurring on the winter solstice so rare and special. Each Great Conjunction has different angular separations, or the distances between the two planets can vary by a bit depending on how everything is lined up, said Seth Mayo, curator of astronomy at the Museum of Arts and Sciences in Daytona Beach. The last time the two planets were this close to each other from Earth's point of view was in 1623. The problem for this Great Conjunction is that it occurred very near sunset, so the sun's glare most likely obscured the pair of planets, Mayo said. The last observable time these planets were this close was the year 1226. Beyond Monday, Jupiter and Saturn will begin to move away from each other. This trend will continue for the next 10 years before the two giants start to move closer together again during the 2030s.